update. Would I be the a-hole for refusing to host my cousin's wedding reception? Original post. I, 24 female, got married very recently to my husband, 28 male. About a year ago, before we got married, we purchased our first home. We did extensive renovations on a house and put a lot of thought, time, care, and money into it. It is our dream home, sanctuary, a forever home we don't plan to let go of. My cousin, 33 female, recently got engaged and is going to get married this year. She and I are very different in personality, so we have never been close. Our families, however, could not be closer. Her dad and mine are brothers. Some background. She and her husband, 33 male, both currently live with her respective parents. She was pursuing a nursing degree, but left the program. She is not working right now. Her husband works. I don't know how much she makes, but it's an average income job. I mention this because they want to throw a big, extravagant wedding. I have my personal opinion about this, but I also understand that my opinion doesn't matter. It's their wedding, their life. I have never voiced anything other than a congratulations on the engagement. The issue is when there is an expectation that family should help them achieve this. I eloped with my husband, and while we didn't have a public wedding, we did throw an intimate reception in our new property. We live in a very quiet, scenic rural area on a small acreage. It is private and thoughtfully landscaped. We have a natural pond and our property is surrounded by the woods. We chose not to disturb the land around us too much, so some of the property line is in the woods. All this to say, it's not a lot of space as it seems when I say acreage. And also to say, without a doubt, it made for a very nice outdoor venue. I understand the appeal, but the key difference is we had small wedding reception. My cousin was a big one with 80 plus guests. Still, I decided to hear my cousin out. I didn't know at the time how big she wanted her reception to be. I was placed under the impression that it would be like ours. I invited my cousin over, and she and I talked about how I set up my reception. I gave her kind of an outline she could use, including all the catering, decor, florists, etc. I made her a meticulous package on Google Docs and shared it with her. She seemed to agree with everything I was saying with a smile. I told her my husband is away for three weeks and I will be gone for a week as well. And if she wants, she is welcome to do some planning. Just give me a heads up. I always give my mom access to my house just in case, especially since both my husband and I travel a lot. My mom texted me if my cousin can come in with someone to plan seating arrangements outside and I told her as long as she, my mom, is present to oversee, they can come. That's when I learned through my mom that she's planning an 80-plus guest wedding and extending the reception into our house, which I explicitly said in person and in my Google Docs is off-limits. My mom told her she cannot tour with the organizer at the inside of the home, that the owners have not given permission. This upset my cousin. When the organizers left, she became very upset and stormed out on bad terms. Her mother then called my mother to complain ruthlessly about me. I just got back today, and I'm told I'm being accused of being spoiled and selfish and small-hearted. None of these accusations feel warranted. I talked to my husband about what happened, and he told me the bride and her family are being disrespectful toward me, and as such, they do not deserve to host in our home altogether. He said he would revoke the invitation himself. I told him let me think about it, how to best proceed. Would it be wrong to go back on my word and tell her I can't host her reception? It will cause her problems, but it's not my problem. Here is where I feel a bit a-holy. Edit. They are now offering to cut down the guest list, but I feel like the trust is no longer there, and their sudden animosity towards me makes me hesitant to put my home and self-respect at risk just to appease extended family members. I don't believe they will follow through with their promises or honor the boundaries I've set. I feel like I was misled under false pretenses into agreeing in the first place. Now for the top comments before reading the update. Agree 110% with your husband. Revoke the invitation and be done with it. Entitled cousin has champagne tastes on a beer budget. No matter what you do, she's going to be hateful. So set her free. She doesn't even have a beer budget by the sound of things. Not the a-hole. Call a family meeting to talk to everyone all at once in a public place. Say your piece and keep it simple, fair and unemotional. If in a one-party state, record a blow-up subtly, or make sure it is in an area with no expectation of privacy. 
once they are done acting like entitled idiots, make them aware of the recording. And that if they start spreading rumors or talking about you negatively, you will have to set the record straight. Wish the couple the very best, but while you are a family and were nice enough to extend the offer, their attitude is shown that they do not respect others, and you no longer trust them. They're on their own to fund their life in all aspects. Apologize to your father slash uncle if this causes strife, but it is not your responsibility to deal with that behavior, and you expect better manners from family, especially if they try to use family as their leverage for freebies. Not the a-hole. And in the discussions, did she ever mention who would be responsible for the cleanup? I'm sure they'd leave it for you and your husband. The cleanup alone is enough to not let the reception in your house. You're so right. I feel like she didn't even read my document, because once I agreed she had made the secret plan to do what she wants. Don't forget bathrooms. I bet people will end up in your house at some point, unless you guys lock up the house. Then she will need to bring in porty potty for guests. Also, not sure if special insurance will be needed in case someone gets hurt on your property. You would be liable for this. Now for the first update. I was encouraged to make an update. Some clarification of the venue. We have a carriage house next to our main house. In between the two buildings is a courtyard. The reception would have been held in this courtyard, as well as in the carriage house for an indoor slash outdoor feel. The weather where we live is not an issue. My husband was even going to string market lights between the two buildings. We have a very large finished bathroom at a carriage house that would have been for the guests. I was also going to utilize the mudroom of the main house, which has another bathroom for guests with easy access from the courtyard. The mudroom has good separation from the main part of the house, mostly by a large breezeway. We have a long drive that leads to the house, so parking would have not been an issue either. All this to say, the setup would have been perfect for a small reception. We would have thoughtfully taken care of it all. We had no issues when my husband and I hosted our own wedding reception. I love hosting and went into this genuinely happy to host. But it was always based on the understanding that my cousin's reception would be the same size slash scale as ours. Small and intimate. She never corrected me when I explained capacity. I sent her my notes and stuff for my reception. It had seating plans too. I think she always had the intention of securing my home as a venue and then doing what she wanted with it, hoping to get it done in my absence. When she realized my mom would supervise her visit to my house while I was away, her plan fell apart and landed us where it did. After my mom caught my cousin trying to arrange seating for guests way over the approved capacity, my cousin's family started to slander me for shutting her ideas down. I got called a lot of things I am absolutely not. This included jealous and saboteur for not being accommodating last minute. Their behavior toward me and their entitlement over our home angered my husband, who was still away. I talked it over him and we decided I should not host my cousin's reception. My cousin and her family tried to bargain with my mother, their attempt to bypass my no. They even tried to hide their phone numbers to trick my mom into answering. My cousin and her family began bullying my poor mother to convince me to accept a smaller guest list. Still over capacity, by the way. All this time they went for my mother, my phone stayed silent. I called my cousin to stop harassing my mother, because I am firm in my decision to no longer host her. The trust is not there, and their behavior makes me not want to host them. She blew up on me during this conversation, expressing that I will be single-handedly botching the wedding if I back out of providing her a reception venue, and that I am cruel for not being able to do this one thing for her during a once-in-a-lifetime milestone. She told me to just please see things from my perspective and think about it. I told my husband I am tired of the cousin and her family not taking my no for an answer. I have been respectfully direct, but they keep trying to persuade me and it's very exhausting. I know they are only saying things to get me to say yes, but they will likely not honor any of it. He said he will take care of it. He called my cousin and told her we will not be hosting her, and her disrespect towards me will also not be tolerated. He told her I was always clear on capacity, and the tantrum she and her family are throwing is because they hope to trick me into allowing a bigger reception than I approved. For the failure of that, she only has herself to blame. She started crying and asked my husband if she could throw a smaller reception at the approved capacity. My husband said we are way past negotiation. He will not allow it, not even if I ask him to. I know he said this to give me an out, and I appreciate it a lot. 
He told my cousin not to contact me or my mother about this request again because he will be the one they have to answer to from now on. They haven't called or texted, but my cousin tried to DM me on Instagram and my husband sent her a voice note from my account to the chat. So I think she will stop now. Wow, their behavior has been pretty disgusting. They thought they could trick slash bully you into doing this. Glad you had your mom and husband on your side. The backhanded treachery is the worst part of it, tacitly agreeing to the conditions while actively planning on breaking them. And all the relatives are mad because they didn't get to party at Opie's place. Yeah, and Opie hasn't mentioned anything about if they were giving them money to cover the cost of hosting them, or whether they were expected to cover that too. Sorry for not including that. The groom slash bride's family were paying for everything except for a few things my husband kindly offered to pay for. One of these was hiring valet to handle parking, but that was something he wanted to do to protect us slash our property. But I know he would have generously offered cover to help the event run smoothly. This was supposed to be a 40 people max event. She tried to bring in over double that. Not the a-hole. You know, I'm not always fond of guys being placed in positions where we have to play the mean scary man role. But I won't deny it's definitely effective when you've got a bunch of cowardly people who talk trash until someone stands up out of their chair at an average height of a male individual and speaks a little above indoor volume. He had a figurative big stick and he used it to perfection. I absolutely agree. I try not to use my husband until I absolutely have to and wish I could have handled it entirely on my own, but it wasn't working with these people. The experience has definitely made me reflect on my assertiveness though and how it can improve, especially when it's quite clear my cousin and her family were counting on me being someone they could get their way with slash manipulate. Second update. This will be my final update regarding this issue and I will keep it short. My cousin ended up having her wedding reception at a different relative's property. I did not attend, and neither did my husband. This is because during the time between us saying no and her still looking for an alternative venue, she made an extremely racist remark about my husband. Along with that, in a group chat screenshot that was sent to me, she called him, an exact quote, controlling a tall mother f tyrant and misogynist effort. All of this because my husband was zero tolerance about her entitled behavior and would not let her go around him. I decided to boycott the wedding. I did not want to celebrate with her. I've also gone no contact with her family. During all this, only my uncle, her father, apologized for my cousin's bridezilla behavior. My cousin and her mother have continued to remain firm on the fact that I am an ungenerous and cold-hearted person who doesn't help family. I have a small heart, basically. I have urged my mom to do the same, go no contact, but I will leave it up to her own discretion. About 110 people showed up to my cousin's reception party. From what I hear, people were peeing in the bushes and stuff. Lots of littering, some property damage, and someone injured themselves, warranting an ER trip, lighting firecrackers. I think some parking violations also happened, for which there are fines. I think that's all. End of update. PSA. I highly recommend you don't ever host anyone's reception slash wedding. It's honestly not worth it, as they're a whole different beast. I love to host small dinner parties, soirees, and events, but this was kind of eye-opening. And I realized how out of my depth slash naive I was to have ever said yes. Last story. Am I the a-hole for telling my mom if she was a real mom, she would divorce her husband after he destroyed my career? My mom has been a witch ever since I met my wife and she met her husband. She hates her. She hates me. She sucks now, but to be fair, she used to be the best mom. I had a damn good childhood. Anyway, my mom's husband Richard has always hated me. He encourages my mom to go no contact, loudly announces how much happier she is during periods of no contact, and has said unforgivable things about my wife. I hardly tolerate him these days. Anyway, my wife is an angel, but like a normal wife and mother, has some stress. One thing she really struggles with is the pressure of being married to a businessman and all that entails. My wife hates my boss's wife and sometimes makes fun of her behind her back, but I view it as a normal healthy venting. My mom doesn't even know this other woman, but jumps in to defend her. So, I've asked my wife not to do it around her anymore. Well, the other day, my mom's husband was playing golf and met my boss. He recognized him from hearing his position and told him he knew me. 
Then he started it on. Do you know what his wife says about yours? And told him everything. My boss called me into his office and tore me to pieces. It was humiliating. And now I feel my career is in jeopardy. He's been giving me all the crappy work lately and making jokes at my expense. I drove to my mom's house and asked Richard why he did this, but he just started laughing. My mom lightly slapped his shoulder and told him he shouldn't have done it, but she wasn't that bothered. I finally lost it and yelled at her that if she was a real mom, she would divorce him. But I know the moment I leave, she's going to cook his dinner and probably do more because she doesn't care about her kid. Not the a-hole. If there was ever anyone who should be totally no contact with his family, it's you. To be honest, the writing is on the wall as far as your job goes, so I would start looking for a new one sooner than later. Also, think about moving. Sometimes a fresh start in a new area is what people need. Your spouse seems to be in need of maturing. She wasn't at all jealous or should have behaved that way toward your boss's wife. She's being a major bully. This is not healthy venting. Everyone sucks here. Your wife and mother don't get along. So why did your wife talk smack in front of the mother-in-law? It's the oldest issue in the book that the mother-in-law or the wife will find ways to screw each other over. Also, you could have simply denied to your boss and told him the guy has it out for you but has a record of lying. It was a he said, she said situation. This, but the easiest way for word to not get back to boss that you and or wife was crap talking his wife is to never talk crap in front of anyone, let alone someone who clearly would love to use anything they can get to mess with you. Wife sucks for talking about anyone in front of mom, her husband sucks for tattling, and Opie sucks for throwing this little tantrum when he should be distancing himself instead. Why are you chasing after your mom like this? She ain't going to dump him, so find a way to pull back. And definitely don't give her any gossip father when you do see her. Not the a-hole. However, no one in this story seems like a particularly good person. I feel like I need to know more about why your wife hates your boss's wife. I'm sure she has her reasons, and your boss is immature for how he handled the situation. You should definitely go no contact with your mother and her husband. Blowing up on them and saying the things you did was probably not the right thing to do. But it's over now.